Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Our last break of the night is going to be 2019-2020 Upper Deck SP Authentic Hockey. 16 boxes, the whole, if you look at the case above my head, the whole master case. There's two eight box inners inside. And you got a shot at winning an SP Authentic box as well, which should be pretty cool. So there you go. If you bought at least three teams, You'll get one entry. If you buy six teams, two entries, nine teams, three entries, so on and so forth. Every three teams basically gets an entry. No vet commons ship and a lot of awesome stuff that can be pulled. It's a very long break, so let's get a move on, ladies and gentlemen. Pick your team one, which is the, <laughs> but this is our third SP Authentic case of the day. We did two and three first, and we circled back around to, to pick your team one after we filled up that pack. Big thanks, everybody, for getting in right here. Really appreciate it. Although I think most people got most people got the same teams, I think, so. So you see on the top camera right there, I'm going to pop open the master case. And keep it on this cart right here just to give myself some room on the table. So we're doing both of these inner cases. I did one earlier, and I'll be honest with you guys, aside from the packs being kind of difficult to open, and you'll see what I mean in a second, there was a good pattern to the break, so it didn't really take, grab half an inner at a time. It didn't really take as long as I thought it would. I mean, time-wise it did, but it didn't feel like that, which is, I guess always, it's always a good thing. All right, these are the those Spectrum cards. You can collect those and get a whole set if you're early enough. All right, good luck, ladies and gentlemen. We got the sounds of the ALDS Game 4 back in 2008 in the background. Some of these packs are too thick, some of these are too thin, some have too much glue, some have too little glue. Uh, <laughs> Jason's already gone for the day, Wade. Otherwise, he would. He was in, he was in early. We were hoping that we'd have like two cases sold out for him, but it didn't work out that way. It's all good. lives close by. I could get him to come by. Nick, if you're listening. SOS. Uh, yeah, that's the thing with Upper Deck. Like, the quality inside the packs are great. This is... You know what? Save money on those little stickers. You know, the tape that goes over the edge of the box. Save money on that. Let's get some better packaging. Get some better wrappers here, Upper Deck. I'd even be willing to pay up to a quarter more, 25 cents more per pack for really nice packs. All right, we're gonna breeze through these. Veteran commons don't ship. Stuff like that limiteds will ship. Rookies will ship. That will ship. This won't ship. That will ship. That is Carson Kuhlman for the Boston Bruins. Riffer with that one. And we'll, of course, we'll top load all of those before they go out. That will ship too. Libor Hajek, 398 to 399 for the Rangers. Wade with that one. You know, inserts will ship. 
It's just like these veteran commons won't ship. That Spectrums definitely will ship. These young guns, Acetate, will definitely ship. That's pretty cool. Who is that? That's Brandon Gignac for the New Jersey Devils. That'll be for Matt Buckler. The Bo Hovart will be for the Canucks. That will be for Robert Grease, who won that. And there's Jeff Carter. I know him. Kings. Riffer with the Kings. You know, obviously stuff like this will ship. Apologies for going a little swiftly here, but it is towards the end of the, the evening here. I got to do this before I pass out. Adam Johnson, Penguins. That will be for Quentin Reese. Yeah, that our, our shipping team definitely uses those blank cards in our in our shipping. They use them a lot. It's useful for us too. All right, box one in the books. All right, box two. Good luck, everybody. Uh, where are the two hub cities? Have that have, have has that been announced yet by the NHL? I know they pretty much said we're gonna have X amount of teams in the playoffs. A lot, 2024, 20, 24 teams. I don't know what the format is, but. And all of those games being played in two hub cities, have those been announced yet? Or what are the rumors, hockey fans? What are the rumors around town? Did I hear L.A. somewhere? Will we be? I mean, not that I can even go to games yet. They probably wouldn't let fans in, right? Oh, no announcement yet, Wade and Will are saying, okay. What are the rumors? I'll, I'll entertain rumors. This is an hour and a half long break. We got we got we got time to fill. You heard Vegas. HP has heard Vegas. I think the NBA kicked around Vegas as an idea. there. Will Christian says months ago, and a lot could have changed since then, months ago heard North Dakota. That'd be fun. Eric Saul for the Minnesota Wild. That'll be for Steve. And Mackenzie Blackwood for the Devils. 288 at 999. That'll be for Matt Buckler. Future Watch autograph. Are all these on card too? That's nice. Young Guns. Kale Kel Calgay. Calgui. Kings. Young Guns card going to Riffer and the Los Angeles Kings. We got Joel Faraby uh, and Avegni Malkin. Penguins for Malkin. That'll be for Quinton. And Faraby is, is a flyer. He goes to Nicholas D. Last spot mojo. Wade 
is saying Vegas, Edmonton, Commissioner's Office, day one from the East. Oh, it said they want one in the East and one in the West. All right, that makes sense. David DLP saying the 10 hub cities under consideration, Chicago, Columbus, Dallas, Edmonton, Vegas, LA, Minneapolis, Pittsburgh, Toronto, Vancouver. George Deng thinks uh, Vegas and Toronto are the most likely. It's a little precarious. All right. HP heard Canada off limits or off the table because of the mandatory quarantine for incoming. Unless they've worked, somehow worked out exemptions. Now, what is the... Uh, What is the playoff format? Twenty four teams, I think. And I think some teams get a buy, right? Like the X amount of teams get a buy and the rest of them play each other for Is it a series? Is it David saying maybe Vegas front runners because of all the hotels. Yeah, that makes sense. Nine. Okay, so nine through twenty-four play in a best of five qualifier. George Wade and HP saying, and then the top eight play round robin for seeding. Do the top eight round robins? Is that just one game? I think that's what round robins are. <laughs> All right, next box. Sign of the times, Nico Hersher. I've heard of him. That goes to the New Jersey Devils, Matt Buckler. There you go, Matt. And we got a Max Jones redemption for the Arizona Coyotes, right? Arizona Coyotes? I don't know hockey too well. Max Jones, come on, be a coyote. Duh, a duck. Different A team. Damn it. All right, that goes to Michael Tuckley and the uh, Anaheim Ducks. That was close. You can see where my brain was going. Young Guns, Adam Johnson for the Penguins. Quentin Reese. We've got Morgan Riley. And we've got Connor Timmons for the Avs. Wade with the Avs. And Maple Leaves. Morgan Riley, that'll be for George. Uh, who won the Maple Leaves. Nice. And that allure pack break. All right, halfway through our first inner, ladies and gentlemen. The, uh, who's the favorite to win it? The whole thing, Stanley Cup. Or is it just all over the place? Well, what's Vegas saying first off? 
And is it just all over the place because of the way the schedule has been? Yeah, how are they gonna do? How are they gonna do the? I don't know how many NHL caliber ice rinks are in Vegas. One for sure, and then. I mean, are they gonna play like three, four games a day on that on that ice? Will Christian says anyone can win the Stanley Cup. As David is hoping. Hockey statistically the most statistically the most random sport because they only have star players only play a third of the game. Hmm. There's Mark Giordano for Calgary. That'll be for Curtis. Barkov. Look at this. That's the first time I've seen this one. Quinn Hughes. Future watch. It's pretty cool. That'll be for Vancouver. We'll save a Connor McDavid too for the Oilers. Edmonton, that's uh, Kathy. Vancouver is Robert. And Panthers, that's going to be for Michael Ng. There's Yoshim Blishfield. Young Guns, San Jose. Nailed it. Michael Eng with that one. It's almost my curfew. Thanks, thanks, Mom. Or 5 0. As far as Santa Monica is concerned, it's been my curfew for three hours. Breaking the law, breaking the law. Young Guns, Yakov Trenin. And sign of the times, Tom Wilson caps, John Laverty. Nope, sorry, Michael. You see Washington being at the bottom of the page. No, Winnipeg's at the bottom of this page. This goes to Michael G and the Caps. Out of four, uh, 9.99, 4.29 out of 9.99, Nathan Bastian for the Devils. There you go, Matt Buckler racking up the New Jersey Devils here in this case. So far, so good. Next four boxes. All right, next one. Caleb, what's going on? You met Blade Jenkins the other day. I have no idea who Blade Jenkins is. Signed to the Islanders, and I should watch out for him. All right. There you go. Pro tip from Caleb. Keep an eye out on Blade Jenkins. Blade really his name? His parents are like Blade, that's what we're going to name him? Or is that a nickname? Is his first name like John?
Yeah. I'm thinking Blade like the Vampire Hunter as well. Unless it's a typo. The letter D is next to S, E, F, and C. So it could be Blake with a C. Could be Blaze with an S. Blaze with an S. Could be Blae. Extra E in there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like the vampire hunter, Wesley Snipes, who's also a vampire. Spoiler alert, Will Christian. There goes my blade weekend. No, I believe you, Caleb. I believe that it's Blade, but what's it? I mean, is that like his first name? Is it Blade Jenkins? It's not like, you know... It's not like Matthew Blade, you know, Barzal. The, the people want to know. And I hear that this is a one per inner case to 100. That's a nice patch right there. Guillaume Brice Zebois. For the Canucks, Vancouver with that one. Robert Grease, who won that spot. Nice. Riffer says it's a nickname. Okay. See, that's what I was trying to figure out. Ryan Poling, that's a Panther. Paling, maybe? Ugh, Canadian. All right, that goes to Riffer. I tried. All right, there's Igor Shesterkin. I know, I know, right? Here I am trying to attach players to teams now. Let's work on the names first, man. Word. Right. Well, if there's, if there's nothing else to watch except for hockey... I might learn these names real quickly. There's Nikolai Prokerkin. Future watch for the Kings. That goes to Riffer and the Spectrum. Rasmus Stalin goes to the Buffalo Sabres. Steve with the Sabres. Buffalo! Buffalo! All right, next one. Next box, boys and girls. Anyone else have any thoughts on who's going to win the Stanley Cup? The whole thing? I guess there's a lot of variance. I guess with even with the new playoff schedule, will create all sorts of craziness as well. There's a lot of variance. Maybe it's just a team. I guess it supplies with a lot of 
applies to a lot of teams. But the team that gets hot at the right time. Uh, Logan doesn't do serious answers, so I can't trust his answer. Uh, Nashville could be sneaky, says Will Christian. Tampa Bay Lightning, Wade Preston saying. George Dang's just saying, hey, I'm rooting for the for the Penguins. Riffer agrees, it is wide open. No one from California? Are they not? Anyone in California even in it? I remember last I checked, it was like the Ducks, the Kings, and the Sharks were all like at the bottom of the Western Conference. Looked, looked like sad times. There's Raiden Point and Julian Gauthier. Seven didn't make it, three were from California. There you go, there's my answer. Hurricanes, that'll be for Wade. Braden Point Lightning, that'll be for Wade. We want the uh, we want the Oilers to win. Maybe I'm rooting for the Oilers. Maybe that's my playoff team. Connor McDavid winning a Stanley Cup, that would be hashtag good for the hobby, right? This is Young Guns cards for Ottawa. That'll be for Wade, who won that team. Ooh, look at that. Is that a triple auto or a six-way auto? Three out of 15, a sign of the times. It's just a triple auto featuring those three teams right there. There's Miro Heiskanen, Gisberi Kotkanemi, and Kirby Doc. That guy I've heard of. I don't know about the other two guys. But Dallas, Curtis, you have a shot at it. Montreal. Montreal, uh, we got Riffer, you got a shot at it. And Chicago Blackhawks, Patrick Fleming, you got a shot at it. So I guess I'll just keep this right here. We'll do that in the same randomizer as the, uh, the box giveaway. There's Noah Gregor to 999 for Michael Eng and the Sharks. Yeah, what's the theme there? George says it looks like an odd pairing of players. What's the relationship there? Are they the same position? No, defender, defenseman, center, center. Are they the same age? Two sophomores and a rookie? Next box. To our finish. Mm, Nick Nick Delello saying probably just random guys they knew they can get to sign with no redemption. That's fair. I, I would appreciate that. Hmm, who signs on time? I think these three guys. All right, get on it. They're the triple auto. This you're gonna be a triple auto in this set. All right, done.
All right, there's Mitch Marner. Oh, Alexander Barkov, you need to make your auto a little bit bigger. There you go. That's a Florida Panther. That's going to go to Michael Eng. Sam Steele, 822 out of 999. That is for Anaheim. That'll be for Michael Tuckley, Future Watch autograph. I need to pull a Kale McCarr autograph, says Wade. He's a. Oh, yeah, you, you have the Avs. There's Adam Fox, a fox in the box, Rangers. I feel like there should be an autograph right here. Isn't that kind of weird? And Ovechkin for the Caps. Spectrum, Caps, Michael G. Adam Fox, level two, Rangers. That'll be for Wade. There's Essentials, Connor McDavid. Young Guns, Nick Kamano. That's for the Dallas Stars. That'll be for Curtis. Logan wants to know if any watches the show, I know this much is true. No. I've not heard of that show. What's what's that about? All right, last box of this inner case, and then one more inner. Right, I'm flying here, kind of. Wait, if I do not pull you a kale in this break, if you ever visit Jaspies, I will gladly personally buy you some fresh kale from a, uh, from a local grocery store just for you. Show is uh, HBO. I don't have HBO. The guy who played the Hulk. And it's about these twin brothers. One's really crazy. That reminds me of, uh, what about that Tom, that Tom Hardy movie? Legend, I think it was, about the, about the Cray brothers who were 60s era London gangsters. East London gangsters, I believe. That was a pretty good one. It's a deal, says Wade Preston. There you go. Some, some great, some great kale. Ferrigno? Yeah, it's probably, I think Caleb's right, probably Ferrigno. Does Kale Makar have any, like, do the, is there like a restaurant that, like a local Denver restaurant that has like a Kale Makar salad? There has to be, right? Has to be, right? I mean, you can't pass that opportunity up. There you go. 16 out of 9.99. Guillaume Brisebois. Vancouver Canucks. Robert Grease won the, won the uh, Canucks in that pack break. And I think the first 50 cards of these Future Watch sets inscribe their... Uh, their debut 
on that. There's Nico Sturm, 905 to 999. Minnesota Wild, Steve Wong. Yeah, first inscription out of 50 in the first 50 in that case. There you go. I think that's a cool idea. I wish they would do that more. Like, not just upper deck, but like everybody. I think that would be a cool thing. Here's John Tavares for the Maple Leafs. Young Guns, David Ayers. Definitely a young gun here. Carolina Panthers. Panthers. Carolina Hurricanes. Wade Preston. See, it's getting late. And a sign of the times, Kyle Turris. Sign of the times, Kyle Turris for Nashville, a predator going to Will Christian. Predators, the, what were the other options? <laughs> for the, for the, I, Predators isn't bad. Predators isn't bad, but I feel like I feel like it's it feels a little bland. Like here's a generic predator. It looks more like a saber tooth tiger. What was the uh, what were the other options? All right, second inner case. No, Will Christian, you're lying to me. You're pulling my leg. They found a saber-toothed tiger fossil when they made the stadium. That's where the name and logo come from. I don't... Will says it's true. He... Will's, Will's no Logan Collister. If that was from Logan Collister, I would know. I know it would be BS from the get. And being serious, Nick, I'm kind of with Nick. I gotta look this up. Yeah, it sounds like a PR story. All right, we gotta look that up. Tennessee teams have weird names. Oh, well, Volunteers is, I think, is a. Uh, that's gotta be a Civil War holdover, right? Or maybe a revolutionary war. I don't know if Tennessee was a volunteer army, perhaps. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. i got to talk to my middle Tennessee friends. <laughs> George must have looked it up. He says, oh, my God, it's true. The Predators thing? They really... So if I go to the Nashville Predators arena... Do they have it on display somewhere? Can I actually see the tooth? Or is it in a museum? Did Indiana Jones get it? It belongs in a museum. It belongs in a museum. It was in a bank building nearby. But then why not like, I get maybe saber tooth tiger is kind of a mouthful. Too close to the buffalo sabers, I guess. Hmm. All right. There you go. Learn something new every day. Oh, like you don't know where it is. Okay. Maybe Indiana Jones will be on the case. Get our top men on it. Top men. 
There is Mike Madonna for the Stars. I've heard of him. That goes to Curtis, who got the Stars randomized to him. There is Caden Fulcher, 545 out of 999, Future Watch autograph, going to the Red Wings. That'll be for John. Oh, George has got some, got some uh, options for me. The names were Ice Tigers, Fury, Attack, or Predators. I, I actually kind of like Ice Tigers. Fury, no, that that's bad. Attack. What, I mean, they're not, they're not Pokemon, you know? Or Predators. Ice Tigers. Predators won in the fan vote. All right. There's Mario Ferraro uh, for the Sharks. That's going to be for Michael Ang. No, you don't like Ice Tigers? Caleb thinks that it is it is not masculine enough, in his opinion. Uh, what, does it sound like Disney on ice? I think Ice Tiger sounds cool. There's Mitchell Stevens, Young Guns, Lightning. It'll be for Wade. All right, next box. All right, so so much for Ice Tigers. Then Fury, I guess, I guess, yeah, there's not too many options, and I guess you're just left with, I mean, I'd go with, I'd vote Ice Tigers. Then second pick would be Predators. I'm not picking Fury or Attack. That's, no. The Nashville Attack. Attack on the Attack. No, I don't know, that, that, that doesn't roll off the tongue, the tongue very nicely. Fury, I guess, would be okay, but I don't know. Uh, well, I think how did they not do a music theme in Nashville? Nick D is saying. Well, I think St. Louis took the blues. Utah slash New Orleans took the jazz. New Orleans, then they took it to Utah. Still Grizzly from Memphis? Yeah, why did they not go with like another another uh, Grizzly Bear theme? Maybe some local fish. Where the Titans come from? I don't remember the Titans. Where did it, that must have been that must have been a fan vote too. I had a buddy who lived in Nashville for a little while. He says it's a really it's a fun town. The Nashville Bachelor are there a lot of bachelor parties in Nashville? Future watch for the Blue Jackets. That's Emil Bemstrom. That goes to David and the Columbus Blue Jackets. Joey Decord to 9.99. Isn't that what senators do? Come to a Decord. <laughs> Ottawa Senators, Wade Preston, who won the Senators in that Allure Pack break. Young Guns, David Ayer. Someone's saying that 
David Ayer's young gun selling pretty well in the secondary market. I still think this new Seattle team should still be the Sockeyes. Like a delicious Sockeye Sam. There's Sean Monahan, Spectrum FX, and Adam Boquist, Future Watch. There you go. Blackhawks, Patrick. And Monahan goes to the Flames. That'll be for Calgary, Curtis. Young Guns, Blitchfeld, again for the Sharks, Mike Lang. I don't know if too many Sharks in San Jose. All right, next box here. natural how many how many teams have natural disasters as their uh, as their team name Carolina Hurricanes Colorado Avalanche does baseball have any no I don't think so football no hockey home to two natural disasters two teams named after natural disasters Maybe Tampa Bay Lightning, I guess it's just more of a nature phenomenon. Ah, good call. San Jose Earthquake in the MLS. Isn't that just tempting fate? If you believe in that sort of thing. All right, and there's Brent Burns. Speaking of San Jose, three out of 50. Some nice color in there. Uh, once again, that's Sharks, Michael Eng with the Sharks. Yeah, MLS also has the Chicago Fire, right? What's up with that? There's Eric Brandstrom, who's a Nashville Predator. I gotta, I gotta stick to just figuring out these names. Let's worry about the teams later. All right, Ottawa. That'll be for Wade. SP Essentials, Connor McDavid for the Oilers. Kathy with the Oilers.
There's John Marino, Dan's kid, Future Watch. I don't think he is, but uh, Penguins. That goes to Quinton. And Carey Price is a Canadian. That goes to Riffer. That's right. There's another Quakes in California. I forgot about that. Near my hometown, the Ranch Cucamonga Quakes. Young Guns, another Kale. I mean, this guy's in L.A. He's got to, if he makes it, he's got to have a salad. A Kale salad named after him somewhere here in L.A. That goes to this pile right here. That goes to the Kings Riffer. All right, good luck. Fourth box of this inner. We've got four more to go, and then we're, we're then we're done. So thanks everybody for uh, filling up all these. This is a brand new release too. Thanks for filling up all these hockey breaks today. Appreciate that. I think we have. I think we're gonna have some more. So stay tuned for that. Any updates on the new Seattle team? On the name, maybe that's maybe that's. We're not going to talk about that, but maybe they got still have time. But I like the uh, I like the Seattle Sockeyes. I think that was my uh, that was my pick. Will thinks there feel like there isn't hockey card culture the same as other sports. There is, it just does not reside in the in the states too often. <laughs> is that is that going to be the Seattle name? I wonder the. I'm not sure that's gonna that's gonna make it through the uh, the the test the test groups. Kraken is rumored. Kraken's pretty cool too. Curtis is back. Yeah, how did you go with? I haven't seen her. I'm gonna watch that. There's Ben Bishop, stars autograph for Curtis. Back just in time. I think it might be your second autograph, right? Second or third auto. There's Jesper Boquist, 518 to 999 for the Devils. Matt Buckler with that. Steven Stomkos and Rasmus Sedin. Rasmus goes to Toronto. That's going to be for George Deng. Tampa Bay Lightning. That will be for Wade. Adam Johnson, Young Guns, Penguins. That will be for Quentin.
final four boxes. I don't know if I'm going to beat my time from the previous break. I'm dragging a little bit here towards the end of my, my evening. But we're back at 1 o'clock Pacific, folks. 4 o'clock Eastern for more. But this is the final four boxes. Yeah, we're on the on the final stretch, the home stretch. When are horse racing tracks gonna open up here in California? Let's, let's get Santa Anita back open to the public. Go see some ponies. warm under these studio lights. All right. Let's roll. Oh, sign of the times. Artur's Ear Bay. Sign of the times. I had to kind of let that register for a second. Sharks. San Jose Sharks. That'll go to Michael Eng with San Jose. Here's Mark Stone for Vegas. Cody Glass for Vegas. Young Guns, Jake Wallman, St. Louis Blues. And a couple of Vegas cards, that's for uh, Steve in Las Vegas. All right. All right, Caleb, I'll see you, man. Thanks for checking in. Take it easy. Be back tomorrow, 1 o'clock Pacific, 4 o'clock Eastern, all sorts of other stuff. I think we have more of this SP Authentic, so I'm going to try to keep an eye on the website. There's Alexander Barkov, SP Essentials, autograph, 45 out of 99, Florida Panthers, Michael Ang. We got Leon, Leon Bergman. Orlean Bergman, 865 out of 999. Another shark for Michael. Hunter, Pen Hunter Pence is an axe murderer. Have you seen Hunter Pence's eyes? See how he see how he waggles that bat? Let's look it up. Wild eyes, Hunter Pence. He's an axe murderer, I'm sure of it. You know what the FBI should be doing right now? They should be they should correlate all the axe murderers around the country and correlate that with uh, San Francisco Giant Road Games. And I'll bet you'll find a connection, a strong correlation.
yeah, he, it's Will Christian. It's as, as if he was waggling that bat with reckless axe like abandon. I'll bet he likes those uh, those axe knob bats too. I'll bet he likes those. He's more more comfortable with the handle of an axe axe handle bat. Just think about it. Think about it. Next time you run into Hunter Pence, think twice before you ask him for an autograph. They should be taking the World Series one from the Yankees. Did that? I don't know if we. I don't know if we want it though. That'd be kind of a. It'd be kind of bittersweet. What do you do with that? I mean, do you really? I don't know. It just seems tainted all around. I feel like they should take it away from the Astros and just put it in, in a closet in the commissioner's office or something like that. I don't think LA wants it. I think the city council at one point tried to get it back, but fans and, and team and the team were just like, uh, no, don't waste your time, LA city council. Curtis, you split your head open with a double-sided axe? I'm a professional like Hunter Pence. Yeah, hey, listen, I, I understand that, that, I understand that uh, there's Ryan Lindgren for the Rangers, that Rob, baseball commissioner Rob Manfred had to give the players immunity for Rangers as Wade for testimony, but now that I think about it, maybe he didn't have to do that. Maybe he just he just threw that out there too easily. I mean it just seemed like he caved to the player really quick. Be like, all right, immunity. Kind of rushed through that investigation, I guess. Young guns, Adam Brooks for uh, Toronto. That's gonna be for George, who won that. And we got Heinrich Lundquist, Sign of the Times autograph for the Rangers. It's another one for Wade. He bought that one straight up. And Will Christian thinks it's, 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 this is, he's thinking it's Black Sox level bad. Pete Rose banned for gambling? This is just, yeah. It's rough. There's Herman Rubstov, future watch for the Fly Flyers Fly, Nick D with the Flyers, last spot mojo. Young Guns, Adam Warner for the Colorado Avalanche. It'll be for Wade and the Avs. Two more boxes to go. We're getting there. We're inching closer and closer to the end. Thanks again, everybody. We did three of these cases today. SP Authentic. So it looks like there is the appetite for some SP Authentic. There's Hunter Pence right now. Look at him. That's Jake Arrieta. Cut to Hunter Pence. Man, just wild. Pence is a nice guy. Wait till you find the uh, axe murder evidence, Riffer. Wait till you see that. I'm gonna go through the National Crime Database. And I'm gonna look up all axe murders in the United States, correlate that to all San Francisco Giant Road Games, 
and you'll see a correlation, especially certain off days. I'll tell you what, Ed, it was a Giants fan that first alerted me to this axe murdering possibility. So how about that? In case you think it's Joe's Dodger bias, looking for murderers on the Giants. So, yeah, Junior's Junior Special Agent Joe. I'm a, I'm a Junior G-Man. I'm a Junior G-Man. And then once Hunter Pence is cuffed, and Hunter Pence will grumble, I would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids. Sort of like a, a dark, murderous Scooby-Doo kind of situation. See, you've heard it before. Rumor sparked by truth, ladies and gentlemen. One day Hunter Pence is gonna stumble into this video and be like, hey, watch it. Be like, sorry, Mr. Pence. I was just kidding, kind of. Don't kill me. Don't kill me, Hunter Pence. Right, it's hip to be square, exactly, Curtis. Sign of the Times, Bernie Nichols. Sign of the Times. Isn't he the guy that that did the graduate? That goes to the Kings. That'll be for Riffer. We got Carson Kuhlman, 635 out of 999. He's got to have like, I would give him a, if I was his business agent, maybe, a, that goes to the Bruins, by the way, Riffer. Give him like a, a cooler contract, maybe a cooler sponsorship. Maybe we would like some. Hi, I'm Carson Kuhlman. And this week, at Bass Pro Shops in Cabela's, you can get my favorite Carson Cooler <laughs> for your weekend trip. Never go, never go anywhere to the beach, to the game, or hunting. Is Dante Fabro for the, for Nashville? Don't go anywhere without my Carson Cooler. No, I, th I think the director was like was a Nichols. I know it was Dustin Hoffman, Adam Brooks, Toronto. That will be for George. George, George McFly. Earth Angel, Earth Angel, George! Hey, get your damn hands off, off her, whatever you say. Get your damn hands off her. And then Marty comes back to life. SP Essentials, Connor McDavid. All right, last, was this really the last box? I made it. Made it, folks. Looks like we made it after all. We did it, Will Christian. We did it. And thanks to the people who uh, 
who stuck with me throughout this break. I appreciate that as well. We're clocking in at one hour and 11 minutes. I still have to do this last box and I still have to do some randomizers. Don't forget that triple auto. One happy person, two sad people. Curtis should stay up for this. He might be one of the happy people or two of the sad people. If someone bought two spots and one, 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 would they be in the box, Brandon? Uh, yeah, you would be. Yeah, you have to buy at least three, but as per the item description, which I'm sure everybody read. But yeah, if you had won a team, and if that became the third team, then yes, you would be eligible for the uh, box random. Or maybe that was your question. Oh, some about two spots, then won one. Yes, correct. No, you got it right the first time, Curtis. That would be the third team. Thanks, Wade. That really wanted to assert itself. Brandon Crawford won a gold glove? I think only in, there are certain times, Curtis and everybody else, um, where it will specifically say, and this is generally for more expensive breaks, like if it was like a, I don't know. We have done that before where it's, it's, usually for expensive random team breaks where we'll say only people who bought spots straight up are eligible for uh, break credit. Or uh, I think usually for when it's something like if there's like a thousand dollars of break credit we're giving away or something like that, which has happened before, then sometimes we just say that only applies to the people who buy spots straight up. We have done that before. But most of the time, in general, the, the people that win spots and get into the break are still eligible for whatever thing is at the end, if any. All right, Columbus Blue Jackets. That's uh, Cole Sherwood. Columbus Blue Jackets. That goes to David Velez, who won that team. There's Veal Heinola, 87 out of 99.99. That goes to the Winnipeg Jets. John Laverty on the board. Malcolm Gray, what's going on? Yeah, Brandon Crawford. Was, there was a time when the Giants had like four or five Brandons in their starting lineup. I remember a game that I was either watching or that I was at, a Dodger game, hosting the Giants. And for some reason... Uh, ba Justin Bateman was doing the was doing the, the the player announcements that day. I don't know, maybe it was, it was but I remember him saying like at one point he was saying next up another Brandon <laughs> which I thought kind of deadpan it. I thought it was funny. Ryan Paling Level two for the Canadiens, Riffer. There were like three or four Brandons on that team. Brandon Belt and Crawford, definitely. And then there were like, you know, then there were like two auxiliary Brandons. And for some reason, they were lined up like three or four in a row. <laughs> There's Taylor Hall Spectrum for the uh, Yotes. That's for Nick Galvin. Another Connor McDavid. We got uh, Yakov, Trinan, Nashville Predators, Young Guns, Will Christian. Oh, I think I owe Wade some kale next time he visits L.A. I owe you some kale. Maybe I could shape it into the shape of of Kale McCarr. If I could get his face into that Kale, then I think that would pretty, be pretty exciting. We'll do that autograph recap in just a second. Oh boy, I hate this. One happy person, two sad people. Stars, Canadiens, and the Blackhawks are involved. 
Oh, I was looking up Eric Brandstrom. So let's get some new dice and two lists. So the first list is if you bought at least three teams or got at least three teams somehow, you will get an entry into the uh, the box promo where you can win a box of this very same 1920 Upper Deck SP Authentic Hockey. We'll send it to you sealed. You can do whatever you want with it. You can sell it if you want. You can rip it if you want to. It's yours. It's up to you. You got to buy at least three teams. Are there only two people who bought at least three teams? No, Wade must. Oh, and Seth, Steve. Sorry, not Seth. Steve bought three teams, so he gets an entry. Wade has six teams total, so he gets two entries. And Will Christian. I think that maybe it was Brandon Belt, Brandon Hicks, and Brandon Crawford. I think that's what it was, Malcolm. Good research. Could have been a fourth Brandon on that team that day. So one spot in five. All right, did I get everybody? Edward, John. Let me just do a quick double check. Steve, Wade with two. All right. So one spot in five will get a shot at the box, right? And that when with the same dice roll, it'll be Miro. Dallas, Jesperi, Canadiens, and Kirby, Chicago. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Six times for each list. Let's do the box first. Five and a one. One, two, three, four, five, and a one. Sixth and final time. Steve Wong, congrats to you. You are the winner of the SP Authentic Box. We'll ship that to you sealed. Congrats again. Uh, five and a one. Six times for the triple auto. Ooh, one, two, three, four, five, and a one. Sixth and final time goes to Montreal. After six times, the Canadiens with that one. And congrats to Riffer. There you go, Riffer. Riffer with the Canadiens. That goes to you. Three out of 15 for the triple. Sign of the times. Triple auto. Very nice. And I think this was a nice break. It seemed like the hockey fans in the chat were pretty happy with it. So if they're happy, I'm happy. The reaction seemed to be fairly positive throughout the break. Whether, whether they were the ones hitting or not. So thanks, everybody, for getting into the action. Those patches look great. A few redemptions in here, but that's all right. A bunch of other nice stuff. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with me, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for staying up late with me as well. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll hockey with you next time. Bye-bye.